The Passion of the Lord is only read twice in the church's year, once on Palm Sunday today, and on Good Friday. Cuando se lee el Evangelio de la Pasión del Señor, el Viernes Santo se lea según San Juan. The Passion of the Lord, as you know, is a fairly lengthy narrative. Es un texto que merece ser pronunciado. Y es un texto medio largo. It's good to note this because the actual act, that is the actual moment when Jesus is crucified and then gives up his last, that is his, breath, his last breath, no? is something that is described fairly briefly. No? Porque la pasión del Señor implica muchas cosas y mucho movimiento, pero el hecho de que lo crucificaron y murió se expresa brevemente. Because really, as is true of us, the mystery of death, whether it be by execution, as in Jesus' case, or by a natural death, is fairly short. En ese sentido, el Señor comparte lo que también es nuestro, que la muerte, a fin de cuentas, es algo que se puede describir en pocas palabras. Lo crucificaron. Algunos puntos más. Y murió. En el Evangelio se dice, y dar Dios su último respiro. He gave his last breath, and that's when we knelt. ¿no? Lo notable entonces es todo lo que, lo que se mueve alrededor de este momento breve. The whole account of everything that goes before and that goes, that goes after that fairly brief expression, he was crucified, and then a little bit later, and he breathed his last. His help is, is really giving us an account of all the things that went on around the, the events, then they are real events, but also they are meant to help us understand. Todos los eventos alrededor del momento de la crucifixión y el momento de la muerte, todos estos eventos realmente sucedieron, pero también para ayudarnos a entender un poquito de este gran misterio. Because the great mystery of God, of his mercy, of his love, of his patience, of his willingness to endure, and ultimately of the gift of himself, You'll miss it if you don't pay attention, if we don't pay attention. Si nosotros como cristianos no ponemos atención a lo que está sucediendo alrededor, la actitud de Jesús, la actitud de los que están alrededor y lo que sucede después, si no ponemos atención vamos a perder el sentido. Y sin el sentido, pues no vamos a poder responder without catching the sense of what's happening here. Then we're not able really to respond. O maybe we'll respond in some way, but will we respond appropriately? Porque se transmite, ¿no? This is handed on to us, the narrative. All four Gospels, in slightly different accounts, versions, but ultimately all four Gospels give us this. They transmit this to us. Esto es muy importante, ¿no? Para los apóstoles, que, que, que sepa, que sepa el pueblo cómo pasó y qué estaba pasando. Not just what happened, but the inner sense as to why it happened and why Jesus allowed it. Porque a fin de cuentas es que el Señor permitió que se hiciera esto. Do you not know that I could call my father's angels to protect me? He could have stopped this, but he didn't. There it is the mystery of the God who allows himself to be taken into our hands. Porque así como se transmite, no la pasión, no es, el, es algo de lo más sagrado de las palabras del Evangelio, se transmiten a la iglesia. And we read it solemnly twice a year. So also, in a certain way, the whole narrative of the passion is the account of how Jesus was ultimately handed over and how he ultimately let it happen. ¿no? El Señor que... 
fue entregado y el Señor que permitió que se hiciera. The narrative tells us, it shows us some of the worst things about what it is to be human. No, ahí, ahí está en, el, en, el, en, el, en, en lo, que, lo que se describe ¿no? en la pasión, ejemplos de las cosas más feas en el, en el corazón del ser humano. The treason, the betrayal, the envy, the lies, todo eso, ¿no? It, it's, it's there. The gospel makes no attempt to hide it. Porque... Se expresa durante la pasión también las cosas más feas que existen y la capacidad del ser humano de ser bien cruel. But I would like for us to spend a few minutes this morning thinking about, about, about something also that's present there. No solamente se trata de, que, de la crueldad del ser humano, pero también cómo se va desarrollando la expresión de los que quieren a, Querían responder bien. The ones who wanted to respond well to him, but as the passion unfolds at the beginning, just couldn't. No, they're different. No, los que los que tenían el deseo de responderle al Señor con corazón abierto, pero que a fin de cuentas no pudieron, porque también hay una lección aquí, because that also teaches us something. Unos dos o tres ejemplos, nomás en lo que, lo que quiero, quiero desarrollar un poquito, ¿no? Los que querían responderle bien, pero no podían. Think of the crowd when we were starting, you know, before uh, we the entrance, when we were reading the, reading the entrance into Jerusalem, ¿no? Es un momento de triunfo, ¿no? It's a triumphant moment, and they recognized what it meant. Es que la muchedumbre reconocía lo que significaba Jesús entrar, ¿no? A Jerusalén, ¿no? Y la, le extendieron las ramas, los ramos y esto. They were, they were cheering him and everything. I can't help thinking that the Lord probably felt a little bit of a sadness, not just a little bit, probably a lot of a sadness. He accepted it. He did it on purpose para que reconocieran que él, es, él era el hijo de David, el prometido, el Mesías, porque se había dicho que iba a ser el rey. He allowed himself to go into Jerusalem and to receive the acclaim of the crowd. It was the best they had because he allowed himself to be acknowledged as the Messiah, the son of David. Esto tienes un punto, ¿no? Porque es un reconocimiento. Lo que no sabía la muchedumbre es que este rey iba a ser crucificado. This king was not going to come and make everything better by changing the political program. ¿no? Este rey no iba a entrar a la, a la, a la ciudad para cambiar el programa político. La gente esperaba esto. The people wanted this because the king is supposed to make things better. We're going to get finally a good king. Que se vayan los romanos. Aquí estamos esperando. ¿no? We're waiting for the good king to come and he'll change things. Maybe taxes will go down. You see, they acclaimed him as he truly was, the king, the, the son of David, who was coming into his own city, no, en su propia ciudad. And that's true, but... But it's not complete. Entonces lo aclamaron. They gave the best they had. I say, es que la tristeza que siento que el Señor sentía en ese momento, the sadness he felt, he looked at them and he knew they were giving the best they could. But in a few days, nobody who was acclaiming him was going to be saying, don't crucify him. He knew that. He accepted their praise, for it was true. But at that moment, he could easily have said, like he would, like he would say from the cross, forgive them. They really don't know. No saben lo que están haciendo. They don't know what they do. They acclaim me. But as soon as the tide turns, they will reject me. That's us, ¿no? Porque deseamos lo mejor, ¿no? Queremos aclamar al Señor, pero cuando llega la cruz, no. Yo me voy con la muchedumbre. I'll go with the crowd. Who? In that crowd that acclaimed him, had the courage to say something 
when they arrested him. It's the best they had. No, es que, por eso digo, there's a failure there. No, es que there is a failure there. A failure of firmness of heart. A failure to really appreciate that if he is the one, then we must follow him all the way. There is a failure there. We have to understand what failures we're capable of. No matter how good our intentions are, las mejores intenciones a veces fallamos. Y en tres días, psh, vete de aquí, no te quiero ver. Take another example. Simon Peter, no, Simón Pedro, durante la pasión, le dice, antes de la pasión, le dice al Señor, Señor, yo voy contigo hasta lo último. I'll go with you all the way to the end. And that was, that wasn't a lie. He really believed that. Si lo creía. Era lo mejor que tenía en su corazón en ese momento. Si, Señor, yo voy contigo. Yo siempre voy a estar contigo. I will be with you all the way. And Jesus accepted that from him, but he also told him the truth. Ay, ya te conozco, hijo. I know you, and in, before the cock crows three times, you will deny me. Oh, not me. No, es que... See, the Lord all along the way, he, he realizes that we, we, we are responding to him. We want to respond to him, but we can't all the way. We will fail. Before the passion, in the mystery of the passion, in este momento, cuando la pasión expresa todo, el ser humano no puede responder adecuadamente. Not even the best ones can respond adequately. We learn our failures that way. Sin, sin si no podemos reconocer en qué fallamos, no vamos a poder recibir lo que el Señor nos quiere dar. If we don't recognize where the failure is, then we don't know what the Lord wants to give us. It wasn't that Peter said something that wasn't true. It was that he didn't say it really appreciating what it might mean for him. Well, I didn't know it was going to go this far, Lord. No, huh? Es que yo no sabía. Entonces, muy significativo, ¿no? Simon Peter followed a little bit along the way. Es que sí se quería mover, y, y se movió, pero de lejos. That's the best he could do. The Lord didn't reject it. No, el Señor no rechazó cuando Simón Pedro quería dar lo mejor que tenía, pero lo mejor que lo que tenía no era suficiente. The best that Peter could give was not at that moment. En ese momento... No era suficiente. There are other examples we can read. You should. Les recomiendo leer esta la pasión durante la semana y notar esto. Los que querían dar lo mejor, lo mejor en ese momento no era suficiente. Lo dejaron solo. Read the Passion, look for this, look for these signs of the ones who even wanted to give their best, but the best at that moment was not enough. They could not go with him. Where I am going, he would say in John, you cannot now follow. Él tenía que llegar solo a la cruz. He had to get there alone. ¿Y por qué? Why? Porque el fruto de la pasión del Señor, ¿no? The gift of the passion of the Lord, when he gives up his spirit, ¿no? Ese momento cuando nos hincamos, ¿no? Cuando respiró por última vez, este aliento del Señor sale. His life is given to us. Where does that breath go? ¿Dónde va este aliento? Es el Espíritu de Dios que sale de ahí y toca. And it touches those who will receive it. No, que es igual al Espíritu Santo. No, eso es lo que sucede ahí. Because the purpose of the passion and the purpose also of the great gift of the resurrection which we will hear about next Sunday, no? Y hasta el fin con la resurrección. ¿Qué propósito? Que tengamos este Espíritu para poder dar lo mejor y que sea suficiente. So that we can give more than we... Because Peter will be made stronger. 
but only after the Lord gives up everything. And then Peter, from a distance, he will repent and he will be changed. You see, the gift that Jesus gives allows us to then follow all the way. Porque el amor se mueve. Si no se mueve, no es amor. Love moves, because if it doesn't move, it's not really love, ¿no? Es que San Pedro se movía, pero no se movió suficientemente, ¿no? Peter moved, but he didn't move enough. The Spirit is given to us by the death of Christ. Esto es lo que viene de la muerte de Cristo. Nos da el Espíritu para que podamos movernos realmente como Él, so that we can move really like Christ. All the way. No, this is what changes. Este es el efecto de la muerte de Cristo, ¿no? Después. Después me van a seguir. Later you will follow me. That's why only after the passion, solamente después del regalo del don de Cristo, pueden los discípulos seguirlo hasta el fin. Only then can they follow him all the way. Cada uno de los apóstoles menos San Juan va a dar su vida como mártir. Every one of the apostles, except for John, will give his life as a martyr. They will die in witness to him. Es la prueba que han recibido lo que Cristo quería dar. It is the sign that they have received after his death, after his resurrection, what they themselves could not fulfill. But with the gift of that breath he breathes on them, they are able to follow all the way. Al dar el testimonio hasta el fin. A San Pedro lo crucificaron al revés. St. Peter was crucified upside down in the city of Rome. He's the one who requested to be crucified upside down. El mismo pidió que me crucifiquen al revés. Porque yo no soy digno de morir como mi maestro. Because I am not worthy to die as he did. Pero por él me entrego, but for him I give myself. Si ellos pudieron morir para dar testimonio a Jesús crucificado, resucitado, nosotros debimos poder, por el Espíritu Santo, vivir por él. If they were willing to die for him after, as a sign of the gift of what his passion brings, then we at least should renew ourselves today in wanting to live for him. En este momento no nos está pidiendo morir. Nos está pidiendo vivir por él y con él. He's asking us to live for him. And that's what he, that's the gift of his passion. He, he gives us himself. Cristo no nos da algo. Nos da su propia vida. Christ doesn't give us something. He gives us his life. And it's supposed to be in us, dentro de nosotros, para seguirlo, realmente, dar lo mejor. Hay que echarle ganas. You have to do the best. We have to do the best we can. And by the grace of God, it can in some way draw us closer to him. We don't have to follow him from a distance like Simon did. Follow him closely, because that's the first great fruit of his passion. The gift of that spirit he breathes on us. Ay, Señor, ayúdanos. Que tengamos el ánimo de movernos así como tú te mueves. La entrega completa y el amor.